All right, guys, today we have the Obzibad Tiny 2 4K webcam, and I'm going to show you how to set it up for live streaming or recording in OBS because it may be overwhelming, especially for the first time. Why? Because there's so many things to do, how to set up your tracking, how to set up the exposure, how to add it to OBS just to make sure it works well, especially with audio, because this webcam has a built in microphone, but the microphone really doesn't work. It's kind of garbage unusable audio so you're gonna need to set up an actual microphone like this one and for that you kind of need to know how to set it up to make sure everything is in sync and actually be able to use the whole thing for either live streaming or recording your content so let's dive into it what's up guys sound Lab production tips and tools here so for this video we're gonna divide it into two parts the first part is gonna be mostly for the tiny 2 software that's where we're gonna spend most of the time just to make sure the image looks good the tracking and everything and from there we're gonna send the camera to obs add our microphone and fix everything in obs to be able to use it for live streaming or recording so in order for you to get the software you need to go to abzubat.com slash download all right and then you need to make sure you choose abs but tiny too so this is where i need to go once you get here you're gonna see the first one the abs but webcam this is the software that you need other than that you have the abs but tiny 2 firmware now this is where you can actually go ahead and download the firmware for upgrading and then you also have the user guide available for you if you need the digital copy of the user guide but for the purpose of this video we're gonna be actually focusing on the actual software so just open it and follow instructions it's super super easy once you have it installed it's gonna look like this okay and as you can see it says tiny 2 and i have the camera already on the top of my monitor and um what we need to do as you can see now it's kind of sleeping so we need to go ahead and actually hit resume just want to remind you guys to connect it to your computer the camera comes with one usb type c cable all right with a little adapter so if you have usb type c you can connect directly to your computer or if you have usb type a on your computer you have a little adapter you can actually use to connect directly to the computer super straightforward so once you have it connected the software should be able to actually recognize it and then what we need to do just quick walkthrough of the software i want to keep this video as simple as possible right so you need to go here where it says way with this camera icon here all right once you click on it it's gonna give you this preview all right so this camera supports 4k so now if you want to go to 4k by the way because i have multiple monitors the usually supposed to show me 4k and everything all the options but it's sending it to the other monitor i don't know why it's a bug with the software but you can go ahead and actually choose 4k 30 i know most people are going to be streaming and recording probably in 1080p so we're gonna go ahead and actually choose 1080p uh, 30 frames per second now if you are into gaming you want to do 60 frames per second in 1080p it's available as well but again for us we're gonna keep it 30 frames per second it should do for most people all right so once you have this signal the next thing is you need to get an image that you actually like so if you go to console here this is where you can actually set up some tracking so the first thing we're gonna set up is gonna be the tracking all right so for me i see the standard works well for for me and for most people should work well and i keep it to upper body so when you do the upper body thing you see the camera is going to really adjust you to kind of fit in the frame but again if i move So you can see that the camera is trying to keep my upper body kind of framing kind of uh, thing and that's mostly what you want especially for most people live streaming now if you want to show the full body you can go ahead and actually do it manually and then the next thing i need to do is we need to go down here and go to uh, the desk mode it doesn't in my opinion it doesn't work so i will leave it it just doesn't look good hand still the same thing group if you're doing a lot of people but again this is for mainly for if you call you a sort of content creator and again as you can see for the exposure you're gonna get to it you see that it's already the camera looks good i didn't do much right so the next thing you need to we can go here where it says presets i would say you guys should do is to have some presets so right now this frame right here all right 
I can call it preset one. So what I could do, I would just hit preset one. And as you can see, because I already played with it, so I can go ahead and actually zoom out a little bit. Okay. And then I can adjust it manually just to make sure it looks good. All right. So I can call it something like preset one. All right. Preset one. So let's go ahead and zoom out and then move up a little bit. All right, it's like a wide angle kind of thing. This looks good for me. So because I already had something on preset one, usually we just click on it. You want to right click and it's going to show something right now. It's showing on a different monitor, which is weird, but you're going to have an option to update, delete or rename. So I can go ahead and actually hit uh, update. All right. And then you can right click on it and then go to rename. And then what you can do, I'm going to bring it here so you guys can see it. Now I can rename it and I just name it white. All right. And then I can go to the next one. I can just zoom in a little bit. All right. And then make it look like this. So something like this, this is like a close up. Okay. So I can go ahead and go to preset two and then hit update. And then what I can go ahead and actually hit again, rename, and then I can rename this one. Let's say close up. So this, in my opinion, is super, super useful. If you doing some kind of talking head videos and stuff like that, because you can have like two angles and you can switch between and it's going to be awesome. If you have a remote controller, this could be awesome because you can do it physically. That's pretty much it when it comes to console, right? Now for, for uh, tracking right now, it's not tracking, right? But if I want it to track me, I can go to normal tracking. And as you can see, as I move, it's going to track me. All right. So that's pretty much it. And now we're going to go to image. What you need to do is you're going to go to autofocus here. I would suggest you go to HDR. Most people don't need it. I don't use it and I don't recommend it for this kind of stuff. But I will go to autofocus here and then autofocus, I'll turn it on. And then for autofocus mode, I'll actually keep it to face. You have global if you want it to focus to a lot of stuff, whatever you may have in your studio. But for me, I want it to follow my face. And for streaming again, I'll say have it track your face. It works perfectly for exposure again in my opinion you can go ahead and use the manual exposure but the auto exposure works pretty well it's spot on it's perfect so keep it on auto exposure it should work no problem compensation you don't need to do anything unless maybe you don't have enough lighting and you want to add a little bit of light into the image but in my opinion this looks good again you need to have some sort of lighting so use it in the dark all right uh, anti-flicker if you have some lights flickering in the back uh you should you you can try 50 or 60 hertz but if you're not having any problem when you have like led strips and stuff like that sometimes they tend to flicker i don't have that problem so i have it off and then we have the white balance now the white balance this is gonna be tricky if you have one light okay in your studio your lighting is not changing keep it on auto all right but if you have a multiple light sources right you have like i have you can say i have a lot of led lights in my background i have my key light here and every time i move if i put the white balance on auto it keeps changing so that's why i have mine set to 50 uh, 600 kelvin because that's the color temperature of my key light okay if you're using multiple lights make sure you set your white balance to the color temperature of your key light now for image here you can check the contrast in my opinion you don't want to be playing with it too much the only thing i did because it was kind of oversaturated uh, so if i uh, usually everything's at 50 here so I took the saturation a little down to 45 because I felt like the image was too oversaturated because I have a lot of lights here and everything. So that's pretty much it. Now, if you are in the beauty niche, right? Maybe you're a female and you're doing some beauty. You have some other stuff here in beauty where you can play with it. Uh, you can kind of work on your face and everything. Okay. But for most people, if you're not in beauty, you probably don't need this option right here. All right. So we're going to skip it. However, you have another cool feature here called background blue all right so if you need to blur out your background a little bit okay you can go ahead and click the background blur option and as you can see it's going to blur your background now you can add a little bit maybe not too much because if you add too much it's not gonna look very 
uh, pleasing it's gonna look fake so in my opinion i'll say maybe around three it's good maybe if you're doing a zoom call and stuff like that probably it's gonna be super super useful this is gonna depend on your needs because if you want it to track you and you're moving and you want to show off some stuff in the background probably don't want it to blur out your background all right last we can go to more okay and this is where you're gonna see all the tiny like all the language you can use to talk to it you can tell it track me unlock me you know all these things so you can have them on or off if you don't need them all right like all this stuff image flip you don't need this if you're streaming and you're doing what i'm doing right now so uh, you can update your firmware for the camera as you can see i have mine has to be updated it's not done yet now the last thing we can go to this is where if you want to make your camera sleep and then this is to enable the remote control if you want to you have the remote and then this is for hard keys which probably will be in a different video where you can actually control the camera with the stream deck which actually that would be awesome you can actually have this enabled that's pretty much it if you want to use the virtual camera again this is for another video but this video we don't need it so this is it now if you want to record directly using this software you can actually go ahead and record here just hit the record and it's gonna record in whatever video format that you choose okay and you can choose the folder it's going to record the audio using the camera's audio however the audio is not really good that's why i recommend we do it the way that we're going to be doing it in this video which is obs all right now as you can see the image looks good i'm very happy i can even go full screen as you can see guys like it looks really good i'm very happy so once you go to obs you need to have the preview turned off okay if you have your own you're not gonna be able to access the camera so we're gonna go ahead and actually turn off the, the preview all right and all the settings of course are there we're gonna go ahead and open obs so right now i had it added but what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna go ahead and delete everything so this is a fresh copy of obs nothing in there so what we need to do we're gonna go to scenes right now i call it tiny 2 or whatever just tiny 2 and i'm gonna go to sources hit the plus sign and then i'm gonna go video capture device all right and then i'm gonna call it tiny 2 4k hit ok and as you can see go to devices and i should be able to see it as bad tiny 2 stream camera right here all right so this is the one that we need okay as you can see it shows up no problem okay you can go here configure video you don't need this the video already looks good as you can see we already worked on it so it should be good all right resolution type here all right we can go to custom all right because you want to define you want to choose the kind of resolution you you, you want to use so we can go ahead and actually do 1920 by 1080p boom and then uh fps we're gonna go ahead and actually use 30 frames per second you still have 60 frames per second if you want to use it and then video format we can keep it any everything else looks good hit okay and then boom you are ready to go all right the next thing we need to do we need to go ahead and add a microphone source right so we need to go ahead and hit the plus sign and then we need to go to video here uh, sorry audio input capture and then for now i'm gonna add my vocaster that's the the interface that i'm using all right the, the vocaster one okay that's it's gonna be the name of that source all right what you, you need to do on devices okay you're gonna go ahead and actually look for your specific usb microphone for me it's gonna be the video call focus right usb audio and then hit okay and then boom so right now if i talk you can see that we have the levels coming into obs no problem all right so this is it but this is what it's gonna look like as you can see i got my audio in and i got my camera in no problem all right so you can still do some things like to make the camera zoom in or zoom out you know like all the gestures right if you have like two monitors right you can go back and go to tracking if you need the tracking or your presets right so i can go ahead and actually choose wide or i can do my close-up no problem so while you live either use a remote right just kick boom wide 
and then talk to people blah 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 and then whenever you need to change that up you can go to close up boom and that's it this is pretty cool this is how you do it guys once you're ready you can go ahead and set up your settings for recording or for streaming before we end the video there is something that you need to actually pay attention to if you don't you're gonna have problems with your audio what you need to do is you need to do a quick test all right just clap two three all right and then do a quick recording and see if your audio is actually in sync with your video okay and for me i already did a testing and it works everything is in sync but if it's not in sync you can go ahead and actually go into premiere okay i'm gonna show you how to fix it look how many frames you are behind you can go to the audio mixer here all right right click go to advanced okay and you want to go ahead and you see where it see, says sync offset so you're gonna go ahead and type in how many frames depending uh milliseconds all right it could be like you can if you're not sure you can actually go randomly like put like 200 milliseconds uh most of the time it's like 200 or 300 and do some random testing but another way of doing it you could be going to premiere see how many frames and then convert the frames into milliseconds let me know in the comment section if you have an issue with that and i'll make another video just showing you how to do that if you wanted to use multiple webcams like this one you're gonna have an issue uh, with what's called usb bandwidth so you cannot connect multiple webcams on the same computer your computer is going to be uh, overwhelmed all right that's why having a webcam that has something like hdmi output would be ideal right that could do still do the same thing tracking and everything but have a way to connect an hdmi cable or have something like ndi right where you can connect multiple webcams and be able to use those for live streaming that's where the next video actually comes in because i have the absbat tell air webcams and have three of them right and they have hdmi out and i'm gonna be building a full obs setup using my atem mini pro so i'm gonna be connecting them using hdmi into my atem mini pro and build a multi-camera setup using ai based webcams and the video is gonna be right here as soon as it's done so make sure you check it out and i'll see you there guys take care